Hi guys, John Fox here from Global Magic Shop with another quick review. Today's review is Trilogy Extreme by Brian Caswell and Alakazam Magic. Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest videos. So today we're going to be talking and reviewing Trilogy Extreme. There's a lot of top pros that are using this including Spidey. Let's check a quick performance right now. Okay guys so this is just a quick uh, performance of Trilogy Extreme so you can get an idea of it. What I have here is I have a prediction. I'm performing for Charlene, my wife, she's behind the camera. So I'm going to put the prediction just over here Char. I'm not going to touch that. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is, uh, can you name any number between 1 and 52? 26. 26. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to take the cards out and I'm going to take the number. Now, you'll see that these cards, by the way, have all got uh, numbers on the back of them. Uh, 1 to 52. So, you said 26, Six. correct? Okay, so, we'll go through the cards. 20, did you say 26, 26 sorry? Yeah, there. 26. I'll put 26 there. And then can you just think of another number, please, between 1 and 52? 43. 43, okay. So we'll take out 43, 44, 42, 43. Okay. Now, what I want you to also do is can you please uh, think of any playing card? Just name any playing card. Seven of spades. The seven of spades, okay. So I'm gonna go through the deck and grab out the seven of spades. Excellent. Now, so this, so you, you've completely, now this is honestly true, Charlene, that I didn't ask you to think of a particular number. They were completely free choices, those two numbers were between one and 52, correct? Yep. And also, to be very specific, I didn't ask you before this to pick the seven of spades. You have completely had a free choice to pick any card, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. So, here, the whole time, I have had a prediction. And inside the prediction is a picture. And I'll open this up and you'll see that my prediction is the four of spades, the jack of diamonds and the number 37. Which might mean nothing to you until, again, I reiterate, you had a completely free choice of any number between one and 52. You chose 26, that's the four of spades. Again, you had another free choice of any, of any number between 1 and 52. You chose 43, that's the Jack of Diamonds. The one last card, you had a complete free choice of any playing card in the deck. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the number 37, no a perfect match. How about that? <laughs> that's great. It's awesome, eh? Yeah. Here you get the online instructional link and the trilogy deck. Now I will say that there's a little bit of prep work that you have to do, it's minimal, it takes you about 15 minutes and you've just got to write on the cards 1 to 52, that's it. So they're not printed, you've just got to write them on there. Uh, now the instructions are presented by Peter Nardi and Dave Loosely. They do a fantastic job, extremely, extremely thorough in what is required for you to do very very thorough so please watch the instructions if you buy this which i strongly recommend you do for the reasons that i'm going to tell you about shortly watch the instructions first uh the instructions are on for about 45 minutes now i do know that brian caswell many years ago brought this out and it you had to use two decks it was on bicycle stock you had to use two decks and there was things that went on there and i know that it didn't sit quite right uh, with the guys at Alakazam. So, through the advancements in technology, that now we can be utilized with one deck. 
uh, which means that this deck is in play on the table the whole time before you ask anybody any questions. So, the first effect, and he goes through a number of routines on here, so this just isn't like, just don't think it's just like a one trick pony, that's the main effect, is the trilogy effect that you've seen. Uh, so he goes over that, he also goes over a variation that you can do the trilogy with handing out business cards. This is very strong where you're not actually going to the person, here I have my business card, you're doing it through a trick and it happens to three spectators, so if you're doing it to multiple tables or what whatnot, which the, by the way the reset time is super easy for this, uh, you can, you're giving out three business cards per table or per couple of tables. Uh, he does he does an effect on there which is extremely streamlined, which is very much like the fill, uh, where a spectator can name any card and you've already predicted the outcome, the number that's written on the back of that card. A very direct, so if you don't want to go through the whole routine and putting a big presentation together, you do have the option to uh, streamline it and go through. Uh, he does a version on there with envelopes, so there's three envelopes that are taken by the spectator, thoroughly mixed up and uh, dispersed to three spectators and then you go into the routine and obviously those spectators are holding the predict have been holding the prediction the whole time before they even made any kind of decisions and also he's added a kicker on the end where there's actually the numbers can be wrote on the back of the envelopes which is an added layer which is extremely extremely convincing another version with banknotes uh, where the predictions are actually wrote on the banknotes and if all else fails they win the notes but of course when, when it sort of appears to go wrong, you open each of the banknotes, each of the three banknotes and wrote on there is the prediction. Again, that's strong. Uh, now, we always talk about pack small, play big. He's got a chair test on there that is extremely good. Uh, and he doesn't like literally show, go, okay, there's three chairs here and this is what you do. But he explains to you and it's obviously very, very easy to understand. As I say, the instructions are very, very easy to follow and he goes through everything thoroughly. So, what this deck, really, really good and extremely strong. You're using multiple people, so you're using three spectators. They can genuinely pick any number and genuinely pick any card. You have the outcome to predict, well you can predict the outcome. This is extremely strong. It's easy to reset. Uh, this, for me, is the icing on the cake. You can drive people to your social media. Now think how strong this is. We all talk about like, we want the next great thing. This is going to absolutely drive people to your social media. It's going to get people to your Instagram page, your Facebook page if you want. You can send them an email so you can get the customer's email. You can also get the telephone number. So when I performed it on Charlene, my wife, last night, uh, so I'd only just like learned this and I'm going to actually use this uh, at some point, but for, for, for this reason, when I did it, I sent her a text message and I said, I don't want you to open that image, um, but let me know when you've got it. So she did that. Now, when I went through the full procedure of give me a name, uh, sorry, give me, give me a number, then give me another number, then get, name any playing card, I told her to open the image up. Now, that is obviously not the image that she saw, but when I turned the cards over, that is now the image that she's got on her phone. That was extremely strong. You could follow that up with a customer. You could say, oh yeah, uh, I, I'm John Fox, I hope you really like the performance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it'd be good to catch up or, you know, next time I see you, I could show you something awesome again. Whatever you want to say, it's totally up to you. But you can get the customer's email. You can drive them to your social media. This is the absolute strength of this trick. It's very easy for the, for, the, uh, for the spectators to understand what's going on. So it's clean, direct, and it's straight to the point. You name a number, you name a number between 1 and 52, you name any playing card, you lay them out, the predictions, you, however you want to do the prediction, there it is, 
it's impossible because you could have had a free choice of absolutely any number and any playing card. If you go over to my Instagram page, you'll see that two weeks ago, I put a post up there and miraculously, it's that. It's so easy to do. There's no technology involved or you can just have the prediction in an envelope with a picture, okay, of a picture that you'd taken previously. However you wanna do it, but this is, to me, is the strength. If you've seen Spidey uh, uh, with Shin Lim doing the, I think Shin Lim's got like a face-off thing on uh, YouTube, go and check that out, because Spidey does a performance, and he's using Trilogy Extreme. Uh, and he's right that it was in a booklet years ago by Brian Caswell, but this is the updated version of this, which is Trilogy Extreme. Pete Tenardi and the Alakazam team have done a fantastic job. Brian Caswell is an extremely clever thinker. If you haven't heard of him, please go searching because he is really, really fantastic. He's such a clever thinker. This comes with my highest recommendation, purely for the fact that of what you can attain via this trick. It's extremely strong. It's an extremely strong trick and you can get all the details that you require to follow up to get you more bookings, and that's what counts. So guys, just a quick note as well, we've actually got these here on the shelf in Perth. I've only got limited quantities of, quantities of them, and we've got a little deal going on right now for them. So head over to the link below and grab yours, because you really will like this. Now, until next time guys, I'm Jonathan Fox. This is Trilogy Extreme. I highly recommend it. Stay safe. And bye for now.